Hey, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. We have a busy day. Uh, I just, I wanna take this home. Isn't this the cutest thing in the world? We have a ton going on today, but the first thing that we have to do is actually head to the dungeon because Quinn told me we have a pretty exciting ball python clutch that I've been waiting for a while for. So what do you say we just buckle up, push our problems aside, and have a great, great time together? I'm excited about this one here. Got one little egg out. Of course, this is a lesser clown ball python bred to a pastel leopard clown ball python. Last year, we produced some crazy stuff from this female. It was actually the last clutch of the year. She's still pretty late in the season, but she's not the last clutch. We still have about six or seven more clutches to go after her, but what an absolute beauty. What do you say we see how many eggs she has? Mama, it's okay, don't bite me, please. She had seven eggs last year. So let's see what she has this year. We'll just get her unraveled a little bit. It's okay, mama. You did so good. What a gorgeous animal she is, huh? Ooh, I tell you what, and I'm gonna candle these eggs because they kind of look like they've been rolled around just a little bit. I'll go ahead and get these eggs over here, put them over here, get these last two eggs. And like I said, I'll candle these just to make sure, but it looks like she had two, four, six eggs this year. So last year she did seven, this year she did six, but like I said, Everything's gonna be clown. There's gonna be all kinds of combinations of pastel leopard clowns, pastel leopard lesser clowns. I mean, all kinds of different stuff. So this is gonna be an exciting clutch for sure to cut here in 57 days. Just an idea of what these babies looked like last year. Now they've got some size to it. This one actually is a super pastel, what they would call a killer clown, but it's also a leopard. So this is a super pastel leopard clown. The pastel, of course, is the super is incomplete dominant, and the leopard is also incomplete dominant, and then the clown is recessive. So there's a lot of genes going on, and this is one of the holdbacks from that clutch. It's unbelievable. And then there's this little heater right here. This is actually a leopard lesser clown ball pipe. I mean, just look at the head pattern or lack there of head pattern that really cool striping down its back that comes from the leopard of course and the clown mixing and then of course the lesser gives it that really subtle beautiful look and again this one came out really amazing but the real creme to the creme is this one and of course this is the pastel lesser leopard clown so basically the exact same animal as the last one but with pastel in it and then you could see that little black smudge right there that's actually a paradox mark that's right that's pigment that just bled through as a baby and will be there its whole life, which makes it really cool. So this one is definitely amazing. All of them are amazing, to be honest with you. We had seven babies from that clutch and every single one was breathtaking, but we hung on to these three in this one. So you never know what we're gonna get in 57 days. We're gonna find out, hopefully, we'll have a good hatch rate like we did last time and hit some crazy mutations. Definitely gonna be a nice way to kind of slowly wrap up the year, although we still have some more clutches after that. It's definitely getting close to the end and it's gonna be really exciting to see what this mama brought us. So happy to see Ivy and Aries just hanging out together. I mean, how awesome is that? That they're finally getting comfortable enough where they both can be in the water and both kind of hang in the same area. And it's interesting that they both have adopted like the same area. This seems to be Ivy's favorite corner and now Aries seems to like it as well. That is awesome. What's going on guys? So a lot of you guys have been asking me uh, for an update on my boy Noop Noop here, which by the way, that was the name we ended up choosing for him. All right, West African bush viper here. Here. He is absolutely doing wonderful. He's still gonna give me a bit of a hard time with the feeding, but he's still taking down food, which is really, really important right now. So I think a little bit more persistence on my part, and I think he'll be a a okay. But man, look at him! Oh, he's a beauty, absolute beautiful animal. Look at those eyes, Jesus! Like it's like it's like looking into hypnotoad. Like buy it, 
buy it, buy it. So very often people ask me, oh my God, is that a Squamagera or, or, or what kind of species this is? So this is an Arthurus chlorecus. This is a West African bush viper. So it's not the typical one that you typically see people with the beautiful colors, reds, yellows, oranges, blues. This is a pretty, pretty classic one when it really comes down to it. This is definitely one of my favorite ones just for the sheer fact that it's just super, super, super cool and it's super basic when it comes to a, uh, a bush viper. We asked another one of those creamsicle scaleless clutches, but we didn't have any creamsicle scaleless. We actually, the odds were a little bit weird on this, but we did hatch another one of these greeny looking animals. Remember I told you about the green spot snow corns, which was part of the creamsicle snow stuff? Well, this one is another one that hatched out with all that green color. So it's basically like a normal, but I think that the emery influence that's part of the creamsicle is causing this kind of green tint to it. So this is the second baby we've hatched out of this lineage that looks like that. It is so radically different and so bizarre. It's awesome. I'm super happy that we hatched them out. I can't wait till these guys get a little bit bigger to see what they look like. This was a banger of a clutch. These are, of course, our tiger scaleless corn snakes. This was a tiger scaleless to tiger scaleless, so everything was going to be a tiger scaleless. And look at how amazing some of these are. But the surprise was we had some aneurthristic tiger scaleless in here. We didn't even know they were het for aneurthristic. So we have these silver, just unbelievably cool looking guys right here. And these guys are starting to get a little bit wonky on me, so I better be careful or I'm going to have snakes all over the place. But wow, I tell you, what a clutch. Scaleless to scaleless is awesome. It's something I didn't even know we could do before this year. I'm so happy we did. The fertility was good, the hatch rate was good, and the babies are absolutely breathtaking. Do you guys remember this girl right here? Well, this girl is the girl that laid that first clutch of eggs, one of two clutches that is a special project of mine that I am so, so excited about. Uh, well, guess what? We're about two weeks away, less than two weeks away from 57 days of cutting this clutch. Just wanted to give you a little tease. You better stay tuned because two weeks from now, I'm gonna cut this girl's clutch and either I'm gonna be over the moon excited or I'm gonna be disappointed. The good news is we do have a second clutch that was laid just a couple days later. And if both those clutches whiff, then I guess I just wasted seven years working on this project. But if they hit, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to share this month. You're gonna see Brian, that's me, very, very happy. I'm excited about this clutch right here. It's actually a blue-eyed leucistic female, my baby, blue-eyed leucistic, the one that I love so much, which is actually a lesser and a het russo. It was bred to that super pastel hidden gene woma, so we could get, again, russo soul suckers, we could get lesser soul suckers, and a whole bunch of combinations of pastels and stuff like that. So we have two, four, six, seven eggs to go, so let's go ahead and jump into egg number one. Everything in this clutch is going to be the Russo or Lesser, and everything is going to be Pastel. And right off the rip, we have a little, let's see, it's a Pastel Hidden Gene Woma. I don't think there's anything else to that. So yeah, just a Pastel Hidden Gene Woma, but nevertheless, really beautiful. Uh, and I actually nipped this other egg right here, so might as well cut that egg, right? We already nipped it. All right, let's see. Boy, I hope we produce some Soul Sucker stuff. That would be super, super dope. And it looks like we got another little pastel hidden gene woma. They're so beautiful, though. I mean, the pastel hidden gene woma stuff is amazing. But I was really hoping for the soul sucker. What's you know, you know what? I'm pretty sure that's a, that's actually a soul sucker right there. I was looking at it at first. That doesn't have the banding, has the strike. So this is a pastel Russo soul sucker right here. So that is app. Gosh, that thing is a ripper. Holy moly, that thing is beautiful. So let's hope we get some lesser soul suckers too. Let's jump into egg number three. But I'm already happy that we're getting some soul sucker stuff right off the rip. Let's see what we got. Oh, we have a, it's actually a lesser. A pass, it would be a pastel lesser because it's a super pastel hidden gene woma. So it's a pastel lesser, really cool striping on it, but not a soul sucker. So now you can see we're gonna get lessers again or pet russos either way. So if we just combine those hidden gene woma stuff, that's when you get the soul sucker. So let's go ahead and get on to egg number four. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What do you got, what do you got, what do you got, what do you got? All right, looks like another. Yep, we got another Russo Soul Sucker, or Pastel Russo Soul Sucker. So, um, so we haven't hit the lesser Soul Sucker, but we've hit two of the Russo Soul Suckers, which are really beautiful. When they climb out of the eggs, you guys are gonna love them there. Beautiful, three eggs to go. All right, what do we got? Come on. So far, it's interesting. We've got only one, that little Pastel Russo. Little Pastel Russo, so nothing too crazy there. Two eggs to go. 
And again, cutting eggs just amazing. No matter what you produce, you're always excited about it. Again, another pastel Russo soul sucker. So it's where we only produce one lesser out of the whole clutch so far. We had two, four, six eggs so far. Only one lesser, which is really bizarre. But uh, but hey, maybe this last egg will be the pastel lesser soul sucker. Let's go ahead and do it. Remember the last clutch that we had going in, it was the last egg. So maybe this one will be the same way. And here we go. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ah, ah, looks like maybe a pastel lesser. Another pastel lesser. So we did hit two pastel lessers in the clutch, but we didn't hit the lesser soul sucker. Nevertheless, a few of the Russo soul suckers, which are absolutely amazing. So all in all, I can't complain. Still been having a really good time with the virtual tour stuff. We have Morgan here that's kind of spearheading the majority of it. She's about to jump on it. A quick like 15 minute virtual tour. We offer a bunch of different packages all the way from five minutes to an hour long virtual tour. You can check it out, link in the description. And if you want to come in an in-person tour, birthday party, you can do that as well. All the information is in that link. So go ahead, check that out. Uh, I'll let Morgan have some fun on this virtual tour. Got a quick package to open up here from California. Let's see what we got. Oh man, I should never cut towards myself. Where are those cut proof gloves that I have? That's what I need to make sure I don't get in trouble here. Oh, we got some shiny package here. We got, oh, it's a, oh my God, that is cool. Oh my God. I used to collect Thai beanie babies. So this is a, for a Thai. It's a little uh, beautiful chameleon that is, uh, that's, I love that thing. We should sell these in our gift shop because that thing is dope as could be. So thank you. Don't know if that was for me or for someone else. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, don't hurry, be happy. <laughs> that, is always, that is awesome. A little sloth club. I love that one. Thank you so much. And then lastly, before we read whatever we have, oh, some essential oils. Oh my gosh, this is, guys, I am, Look at I'm an essential oils guy. I've got my little bracelet on. I always use it. So a bunch of really cool stuff. Thank you so much. Says top six essential oils. What do we have here? We have uh, lavender. Love it. Eucalyptus. Use it every day in my sauna. Rosemary. That's interesting. Peppermint. I actually wanted to get peppermint and try that in the sauna. To be honest with you, tea tree is amazing. Sweet orange. Thank you so much. Let's see who sent this really quickly. I cannot thank you enough. That is awesome, especially essential oils. I love essential oils, and it really does help me calm myself at this time. So, But I love all the rest of the stuff too, so thank you so much. Somewhere over the rainbow, skies are blue, and the dreams that you dare to dream really do come true. Dear Lori and Brian, thank you for all you've done for my daughter. Your vlog has opened her up to a world I never could have imagined. I loved it also. Uh, we also have two ball pythons we purchased in the last two months and are awaiting our first fire ball python from BHB next week. Well, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Keep doing what you're doing. We love you all, Anne. And there's also another one. Dear Brian, you're my biggest inspiration. I try to be more like you every day. Thank you so well. Try to be the best part of me, not the bad part of me. I love you and Lori and I love the Reptarium so much and always look forward to watching your videos every morning. I'm 17 and I also suffer from severe anxiety, but your videos about ball pythons and everything else connects with me and I I appreciate it so much. I can't wait to hopefully meet you and your reptiles one day. Well, listen, this is sincerely Gina. Thank you both Anne and Gina for everything. And listen, uh, things are gonna be okay. Together we're on this journey of anxiety. We're gonna get through it together. I'm here for you. Please be there for me. Uh, these essential oils are certainly gonna help as well. So thank you guys, you are so lovely. That clutch from that female clown ball python last year was really our most amazing hatch clutch of the year. This year we have all kinds of other stuff hatching that is crazy too, but I'm still super excited. So 57 days from now, we're gonna see what kind of babies come out of it. That is amazing. If you enjoyed this, here is an entire playlist of snake eggs like crazy. You guys can get your fill if you want. Up here, you can subscribe, please, to my podcast channel. Call checking in every Wednesday. On this side, you can subscribe to this vlog channel. Please turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.